This is Dan. Uh, this is the House of Broken Dobbs things. Today we're showing you something that isn't quite broken, but uh, something I use to uh, repair some broken stuff. Um, what I'm going to show you is I've been using it off and on for about the last year or so, but I've never really shown you a close-up on it. This is the uh, uh, Touch DRO, which is the application, and then I'll show you the board that I put together based on the plans that were out there. Uh, from Yuri's Toys. I'll put a link in the bottom of this one. But uh, it's been a very good setup for me. Uh, it's a Bluetooth to a um, um, uh, tablet, uh, Android tablet, and basically gives me uh, three axis DRO. Now what I'm showing you now uh, is only going to be one axis, but I wanted to show you the board up close. Uh, this is not a bad project to do if you're a DIY guy or if you even just want to play around with making one. Uh, some of the DRO setups are reasonable. Uh, this uses the uh, rather inexpensive uh, DRO setups that are available from many different manufacturers. But uh, this is eye gauging is what I have here. This is a, my extra test unit that I have plugged in. And then I'll uh, kind of show you the way it's set up. And I apologize in advance for the dogs outside barking, but Indiana and Maisie, uh, our new dog, are outside with the neighbor's dog at the fence row entertaining each other going back and forth and racing and barking and getting to know each other so uh, you shouldn't come into the audio a lot but it's there and I apologize in advance for it but they're having fun it's the uh, day after Christmas um, and 2019 and let's get into showing you some stuff here okay sorry if it's cut out again but I'm trying to make this go uh, basically, this is nothing more than a project board. I've got uh, micro USBs on there. The reason you want to look at maybe the micros versus the standard uh, mini USB, it has to do with the scales. Uh, the scale ends, uh, the, the older ones were actually the old style uh, mini USB, you know, the one with the little wings on the side. And then uh, these later ones that I bought actually were the micro. It doesn't matter. It just makes the difference between which one of these little adapters that you pick up that basically I like these uh, so basically they have a uh, hard pin on the back side and I just did my temporary box set up here so basically uh, running the voltage over and it's going out to the scale and the scale in turn is feeding back a voltage which comes back in is hardwired into the main board which takes a signal converts that into a USB data stream and that is what's displayed on here so again the sensitivity is really very good. Uh, I've used it on several projects, but it was after Christmas. I'm sitting around not doing anything, and I said, you know, I need to really put this in a box and uh, get it sealed up away from harm. So, uh, just to show you, just calibrate that one out. There's the negative, and there's the positive. Works really nice. I mean, again, top of the line, absolutely not. Total all in for all the pieces. Um, probably the scales are going to be your largest amount of money uh, and then you can shorten them all you have to do on that one I'll give you the secret magic trick here you basically take these two screws loosen them and then you set this in your vise and you square it to the length that you want and you just use a straight hacksaw works fine no problems whatsoever and you're done um, so there I just blew the myth that it was difficult and it's hard to trim and Got to use a certain kind of thing no not at all straight hacksaw worked wonderful um, and it's done and again i've been using it for a long time uh, what you do to the ends of it really isn't that super critical because 99.9 percent .9 of what you're doing is going to be across excuse me the center part of the scale so it's unharmed it does fine chips are not good fluid is not good i know some folks have had some issues where they've given up and went ahead into the, the glass scales which are very nice and I'm not knocking him at all. I'm just saying, if you need to do this on a budget, which that's me, all the time, uh, it's not too hard to set up. Uh, let me show you one small thing. And this is, if you'll notice, I'm trying to keep everything from shorting or anything crazy like that. Uh, there was one attribute that I'll show you right here. I think you'll be able to see it without too much trouble there is there is a capacitor right across here that's straight out of the instructions they said it was optional 
but I found out that when I installed it across the scale, it actually helped clean up any jitter and jutter that you might be getting from the circuit. But uh, I just had to depart before I started sealing it up. I thought maybe you'd like to see it in the development stage uh, where well, basically it's pretty straightforward. Um, and again, we are uh, broadcasting via this one. Uh, the Touch DRO isn't supported by Amazon Kindle, so you're going to have to hack it. Uh, that's why I'm using this old Samsung uh, Android tablet. It works fine. It's bulletproof. Uh, again, uh, just a quick overview of this one. Move the camera back so you can see a little bit better. But uh, yeah, that's really about it. I didn't want to go into a lot of detail on this one here. But I've just used the mini jumper wires on here. When I put it together, I'll finish the, you know, solder it and so forth. But uh, for developmental, this was a good idea because there were a few things that I had to overcome as far as uh, translating the, the schematic, which is very basic, uh, into actually into a, on a physical board. So uh, these are also very handy because uh, one thing I'll mention is this uh, position here, one on this board it actually goes all the way across so whatever you're doing it makes it nice to do multiple connections and you'll see a couple of these are doubled up uh, on the double connection so anyway nothing fancy nothing exotic the other thing I was doing is it had cut out on me previously while I was doing an operation that I really didn't want it to cut out so I was basically kind of setting it lit here let it sit here and idle uh, in the kitchen while I was goofing off. Yeah, these are Roxy's brand new kitchen countertops, and yeah, this is me. <laughs> Oops. No, there's nothing going on here. We're all set. But uh, all the soldering and stuff will be done downstairs. Uh, but I just wanted to, yeah, I was goofing off in the garage today, and I figured I'd show this bit to you. Uh, Touch DRO, again, it was all basically all the code, the instructions, all that was free. By the time you're in for three scales, they were about 35 each. And you put you put yourself at 100, 120 bucks with shipping, and 10 bucks. I'll call it another five to 10 bucks, depending on where you get it from. More expensive than this, and more expensive than the board were these little micro adapters. If you get the good ones, they cost three or four, five bucks a piece. So, all in, you're probably at a 150 dollar price point doing the work yourself. And like I said, it's not bad takes a little bit of getting used to but uh, overall it was a, a good little project that actually I've used quite a bit so I'm pretty happy I did it would I go do it again oh sure no problem I've got uh, a lathe with two axes that need it I've got another mill with three axes that need it and then I'm looking at the surface grinder and saying you know why not that'd be really nice to have instead of watching manually watching the dial um, so to give me the, a good repeatability. And of course, there's a old Lewis Shaper out in the garage. So eventually I'll get to all those projects, but I just want to share it with you today. All right, that's a short one for me. Uh, thanks for watching and uh, have a great day. See you, bye.